First off, I get my probe seated in its standoff pad. I go find the last two ribs, place the probe and I watch the screen at the same time. And then we come up with the rib eye image right there. And okay. off this one image, we'll measure uh, back fat and rib eye area. This top white line up inside the screen, you see the curvature of the back here, that top white line and that black right under it, that's the hide. The second one, I'm going to click over here where these lines disappear. That second white line here where this blue line is measuring from there to the bottom here is the back fat. This is where it was coming up with the 0.47 inches of uh, back fat right there. And then you come down here is your longissimus dorsi, your ribeye area that we're looking for. So I'm just kind of tracing it roughly here. We look for different landmarks. This cow is fairly fat and this is an older cow. We usually do in yearling cattle. And you look for a spinous process kind of shows up down here on this bottom end. And you look for all these landmarks as you're to make sure you're in the proper area. For tracing it, it gives you actual reading at the same time. I traced it and I got a 14.31 uh, square inches uh, ribeye. That's everything, the total area inside this area that I traced. Right underneath it is the average back fat. It measured this machine, or the software measured the back fat all the way across here around an average, and it says she has just under a half inch of back fat. Okay. If I knew what the, the weight of this cow was, let's just say she weighs 1,300, 12, 1,300 pounds, I could plug this in right here. Let's just say 1,200 for for uh, math sake here, it gives ribeye per hundred weight right here under the back fat. And that's telling you there's 1.19 square inches of ribeye for every hundred pounds. Instead of saying, well, this is the biggest ribeye, this is the smallest ribeye, you want to look at how much each animal weighs because uh, they will all have different ribeye per hundred weights and that's a good way to compare uh, cattle that are in a contemporary group when you're looking at just ribeye size. Looking, what I was mentioning earlier about looking for for uh, landmarks to get a proper image. Uh, you can get, there's all, you can't make an uh, rib eye any bigger than what it is, but you sure make it look smaller if you get across a rib or on a rib. Now, I'm always moving my hand here. You see that cut up on the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's that rib rolling up underneath there as I'm moving my hand. That's why I know I'm on a bad, I'm in the wrong spot. If I try to turn in an image that has uh, across a rib or something like that, it's gonna be rejected at the labs.